Multitrack recording in Audacity. Multitrack recording is essential for producing songs or podcasts. It is also necessary for re recording parts of the voiceover. If some parts of the voiceover need to be re recorded, you can record that part in another track and replace that part from the main track. Once you finish recording a track, clicking on the record button will start recording after the track. It will be the same track, just a different clip. It is denoted by number 2 of audio track 1. If you mouse over the record button, you will see a keyboard shortcut to record a new track, Shift R. However, Shift R will start recording the new track from the last playhead position. If you want to record the new track from the beginning, click at that point to move the playhead, then record. The keyboard shortcut is not the only way to record in multi-track. From the tracks menu, add new track. It can be a mono track or stereo track based on your need, I will choose the mono track. Click inside the track from where you want the recording to start. Click on the record button and the recording will start. I have not muted the top track. So you may be wondering if the top track will be played back during recording. It depends on how to set the overdub. Go to transport and then transport options. I have no tick mark beside the overdub, which means it is off. I can click on it, and the overdub will be on. The overdub feature is on now. If I record something, you will hear both the existing track and the recording. I will let you hear the original sounds during the recording. Though they if are you are a couple thinking of, of other uh, softwares, which running is free, a podcast, you can use Audacity for use. your audio editing. You can practice your and audio editing and editing in Audacity. And when you are used to this software, sound from the top to track because I have a kept more the over top one. For Mac, you have. You I don't find the overdub feature necessary for voiceover recording, so I will turn it off. There is another option after the overdub software playthrough. You will see a headphone input in many microphones. It is for live monitoring. If you want to hear how your recording sounds during recording, you can use this option. I do not use live monitoring, so I will uncheck the software playthrough option. I have said it before and reminding you again. If you do not see your connected devices in Audacity, rescan audio devices can help. I will now discuss an interesting effect, very useful for podcasters. The audio I just dragged to Audacity is a piece of music. Let me expand the tracks a bit, it has become too squeezed after dragging the music track. The voice and music track have similar loudness. It would make it difficult to hear the voice. Using AutoDuck, I can adjust the music track automatically. Though it will not work because the music track has to be on top of the voice track. You can see a message asking for the AutoDuck track to be on the top. You can move the track up or down using the track information panel. I can now apply AutoDuck to the music track. I will shift the voice to the right so that some music is played before the talking starts. Before applying AutoDuck, let's listen to how it sounds together. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. The music is too loud for the voice. The auto duck will take the music down during the talks. You can set the duck amount, which is minus 12 dB by default. I will apply the default settings. Let's play and listen. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you are used to this. After auto-ducking, the music becomes low as the voice starts. It is a handy tool for podcast intro and outro. You can also manually adjust the volume from the envelope tool. Auto-duck decided where to lower the music. You can set two points with the envelope tool and drag the volume down or up. It enables fine-tuning the volume levels. I think the middle part of the music is already at the low points, so the envelope tool is not doing much. I can show this envelope tool from the part where the volume is much louder. In the end, the music is louder, so let's try the envelope tool here. Select the envelope tool and click at two points. Drag from inside the two points so other audio parts will remain unaffected. You just press the 
stop button I hope you understand how the envelope tool is doing a similar job to Autoduck. Audacity is a powerful tool if you can use it correctly. You will want to get a single track or file from multiple track. Generating a single track from multiple tracks is called mixing. You can find the mix tool in the tracks menu. To mix multiple tracks, you have to select those tracks. I will select both tracks and go to tracks menu. You can combine these get to get a single track. It will have the same sound as when the both tracks were playing. If you want to keep both tracks and mix them into a new track, that is also possible. A new mix track is created at the bottom. To export this mix track, select everything in the track and go to export. Audacity lets you export your audio in many formats. WAVE is a lossless format that keeps all the audio data. If you need a smaller file size, then you can choose MP3. I usually choose WAVE. You have to choose a location and file name, and you can save. You now know everything to work with multiple tracks in Audacity. In fact, you now know everything you need for voiceover or podcast recording and editing. Let me know in the comment if you want to know anything else about Audacity. My channel is full of Audacity tutorials, I suggest you browse through those. If you watch all the Audacity tutorials on my channel, I think you will know all the necessary concepts of professional audio editing. If you can comment on which purpose you use Audacity, it will help me to make future videos. For example, if you are generating an audiobook, I can give specific tips for audiobook generation. If you are using it for podcasting, I can guide you in podcast editing. If you want to generate good quality audio, the first step would be to make sure your recording environment is right. The right recording environment means it is quiet and has no obvious loud background noise. Otherwise, you won't be able to generate as much good sound as you like. Your feedback is very important to make useful videos for you. As I know Audacity a bit, sometimes I do not understand what a beginner can struggle with. If you give me feedback like I should discuss those concepts more, then I will better understand what you are looking for. Audacity is a powerful audio editor that can do most of the audio editing tasks for beginners. Even professional voiceover actors use Audacity as it has all the necessary features. It may lack features of some advanced audio editing softwares, but still it is a fantastic audio editor. Thanks for watching and see you next.